We are back with another segment of I'm ready to be a husband wife. Let's jump into with today's guest. Can you tell us your name, your age, and what you do for a living? Yeah, so my name is Mika, and I'm 31, and I actually work for Spotify um, as a uh, marketing account specialist. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to have to talk to you after we get off the air. <laughs> <laughs> Current relationship status. You said prior? No, current. Current. Uh, I'm single. <laughs> okay. Thought I would ask. Do you have children? No, I do not. Do you want children in the future? Yes, I am open to it. Okay. Why did your last relationship end? Um. Wow. Actually, <laughs> it's kind of a funny story, but um, it. It didn't, I guess, like work because we both were in different ministries. Um, so his ministry uh, was just not very accepting and uh, we just had to part ways. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it wasn't actually a long relationship, but that was why my last relationship ended. Mm okay. What's a deal breaker for you? A deal breaker. Um I guess somebody who doesn't really, um, like, I guess, I don't know how to work this, because when, when I think of deal breaker, um, like somebody who's not, like, going, I guess, the same path as me, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Understood. How do you handle difficult situations? How do I handle difficult situations? Um, I feel like for me, um, there's actually a number of things that I feel like I have learned how to deal with um, situations. Um, in the past, it wasn't like obviously ever healthy, but now I would say that um, I take it, you know, honestly, a deep breath. <laughs> That's one. And two, um, I have people that I talk to um, as far as like just people who um, give me really wise wisdom, wise counsel, whether that's my like my spiritual father or my therapist. Um, so that, like if I feel like I like truly can't handle something, usually for me, what helps is having like an outside voice, um, because sometimes obviously I'm not always right <laughs> and feelings are not always true. So. That's good. Why do you want to be married? I want to be married because it's definitely a desire that's there um, and it's a healthy desire. Um, so I and I know I'm meant to be married. Um, I know that I am the good thing. So. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's why I want to be married. Um, and obviously, too, just to um, uh, really just go through this life, um, you know, with the dreams that I have, like somebody alongside me and, you know, we both you know, would um, just encourage each other to pursue those dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mika, I want to go a little deeper. <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when you were scared, sad, angry, or overwhelmed, who, if anyone, did you go to for comfort as a child? Oh, as a child, I say... It would be my grandma. My grandma, I definitely uh, would always seek out. Um, she's always been the really good support system and always been very gentle with me and my feelings. So, um, yeah, when I was a child, I definitely would run to her if, you know, she was <laughs> the one that was nearest to me. Mm, awesome. Are you a spender or a saver? Ooh, I feel like both, honestly, because um, obviously it's good to save, but... I also feel like um, if you don't really take time and, you know, the money to invest in you, then I feel like that you don't really love yourself. So I feel like it's good to also spend on yourself um, in a healthy way. <laughs> so I want to like, you know, put a little quotation there. So yeah, in a healthy way. Uh, so I feel like I'm both. Okay. What did you learn about relationships from watching your caregivers? Um, I learned that they're hard work. I feel like I've seen relationships just be like a lot of hard work. Um, 
and a lot of just forgiveness, to be honest. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Now, this is a multiple choice answer. <laughs> Which is the hardest for you to say? Is it A, I apologize, B, I need help, C, I love you, or D, I was wrong? Um, I need help. Okay. And do you mind expounding on why? Um, because I've done a lot, I would say, by myself. Um, and I was raised mostly with a single mother who definitely um, taught me the importance of being independent. Um, now, it may not have been, I guess, in a healthy way that she taught me, but um, I've, I've had to overcome a lot of those fears in, in understanding, like, it's okay to say I need help. Um, so, yeah, but but I, that I would say, like, out of all those, that probably be the one that's the hardest. The other ones, I, I, I really don't, I don't have issues with saying I'm sorry, but um, no, I need help with FAB one, like, especially in the financial issue, because I know what it's like to not have um, or to go without something. So that, that I think for me was always something um, that would be tough a long time ago. So I've come a long way from it, but that's definitely something I'm still trying to get over. <laughs> for sure. For sure. There, yeah. There's no wrong answer. I, you know, we just want to, uh, Ask a couple questions, you know, for potential prospects who might be interested. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, so thank you once again. Oh, and let everyone know how they can get in touch with you if someone is interested. Maybe they want to slide on a DM, maybe, you know. <laughs> um, I would say Instagram is the best way. Um, I'm on there the most. And it's Mika, M-I-C-A-C, -C, the letter C, and then Lopez. Okay. Well, everyone, you heard it here. So the DM is open. <laughs> Thank you once again yes. Michael, for being a guest and we will talk later. Thank you.